Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious and spicy mutton curry. I am sharing a super quick and easy recipe. You do not even need a pressure cooker to follow this recipe at home. So let's get started. If you do not follow my Instagram, please do check it out for more of my content. For this recipe, we'll be needing two onions, one bulb of garlic, one teaspoon of ginger, three green chilies, two tomatoes, 500 grams of mutton, as well as some fresh coriander to garnish. And for the seasonings, we'll be needing three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, around 20 whole black peppers, four cloves, one black cardamom, one inch stick of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of crushed chilli, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and finally around a third of a teaspoon of coriander powder. I always write out the ingredients in the description box down below, so you can also find them there. Because the meat takes the longest to cook, we'll start off by preparing it first. To the meat, I'm going to add in the onions. As you can see, I've cut these into onion rings and I'm just going to add them in as they are. I've also peeled a whole bulb of garlic and I'm just going to add the cloves in whole. I'm not going to cut them because these will become super mushy and they will dissolve easily later on. I'm also adding in one of our three green chilies as well as our tomato. As you can see, I've chopped both of these things beforehand. Next, I'm adding in some fresh ginger paste. I'm adding one teaspoon. You can choose to add frozen ginger if you wish. Along with this, I'm also gonna add in the salt, the black peppers, the cloves, the cardamom, and the cinnamon. Finally, I'm going to add in 250 milliliters of water, and then I'm going to pop the lid on and allow this to start boiling. Once the water starts boiling, I'm going to give it a good stir and then we're going to allow this to cook until the meat is tender. If you don't have enough water, you can always add in a little bit more later on. Once your water has fully evaporated and the meat is slightly tender, we can start frying this. So I'm adding in around 10 tablespoons of oil and I'm going to allow the meat to continue cooking. At this point, we can also add in the rest of the spices. As you can see, the garlic is no longer hard. When we press this with our spoon, it will become mushy and it will turn into a paste. So I'm just going to squeeze all the garlic pieces I can find and then combine all of the ingredients to ensure that the garlic is thoroughly mixed. At this point, you can really tell that the dish is coming together and it smells heavenly. Oh my god, I wish there was a way for me to transfer the smell over to you because it is smelling incredible. Now I'm going to add in the water. The amount that you add really depends on how runny you want your curry to be. I'm only adding in a little bit because I don't want it to be too runny today. I'm also adding in the remaining of my two green chilies, which I've cut into quite large pieces. And then we can turn the heat down to low and allow this to simmer away for around five minutes. Finally, it's time to garnish. This has to be one of my favorite times when cooking a meal because the dish is almost complete. To garnish, I'm just sprinkling on some fresh coriander as well as adding on some pieces of ginger. Now adding the ginger is not necessary. You can choose to add it or if you don't like it, you can choose to leave it out. It won't make a big impact. So here is the end result. As you can see, it looks absolutely incredible. I bet you guys are just as tempted and just as excited to try this curry as I am. 
If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family so that they don't miss out on this delicious meal and let me know in the comment section down below which recipe you guys want to see next time. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time, bye!